the UK's Labour leader has warned commentators to butt out as he called for people to leave Princess Catherine alone, the future Queen has a right to privacy during her recovery from abdominal surgery. In recent weeks, online speculation about the Princess of Wales' whereabouts has escalated, prompting palace aides to refrain from commenting on her recovery. The gravity of the situation became evident with allegations that several London clinic staffers attempted to access Princess Catherine's medical records, sparking an investigation by the Information Commissioner's office. The privacy watchdog is also understood to be looking at the time it took for them to be told about the breach, the nature and extent of which has not been revealed. Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer is the latest political figure to wade into discussions surrounding the Princess of Wales's privacy. The leader of the opposition has warned commentators to butt out and allow Princess Catherine to recover. Speaking on Channel 5's Jeremy Vine show, Starmer said, I think that we should leave her alone. She's had a difficult operation, and she deserves privacy. I think we all want to get behind the Princess of Wales, and indeed the Prince of Wales, and we obviously wish her the speediest of recoveries. Expressing concern over the proliferation of conspiracy theories, Sir Keir emphasized the need to refrain from baseless speculation about the princess's health, everyone in public life has a right to privacy, before issuing a simple response to alleged breaches at the London clinic following Kate's treatment back in January. We should just butt out and leave her alone. That's not really a political response, it's a human response, as a dad and a human being. As a fan and lover of the Princess of Wales, I think, it's alarming to witness the invasion of Princess Catherine's privacy, especially during her recovery period. I'm bothered that you are perpetuating ridiculous claims. We must remember her humanity and extend her the same dignity and respect we would expect for ourselves or our loved ones in similar circumstances. The spread of unfounded rumors and conspiracy theories not only violates her privacy but also undermines the integrity of public discourse. Let's prioritize empathy and decency in our discussions surrounding public figures' health and well-being. It is Catherine, it is well known that they visit that farm shop. We've always been told she will be resuming duties after Easter, that's only a few weeks away. Recently, a footage emerged that delighted royal fans showing the Princess of Wales, who is recovering from abdominal surgery, looking happy and relaxed as she and William visited a farm shop. The Princess of Wales and her husband were seen visiting the Windsor farm shop close to their Adelaide cottage home in the grounds of Windsor Castle. However, since the video was filmed, bizarre conspiracy theories have swirled online that it is was not Catherine. Among the speculation being circulated by cruel trolls are that the princess has died, or is using a body double or even her sister Pippa as a stand-in. Unkind provocateurs have even suggested that she is in a coma or being faked with AI. The most Rev Justin Welby told Times Radio, I think we are obsessed by conspiracy and we have little sense of the humanity of those who are caught in the glare of the news. He added, people should be allowed to be ill, have an operation, whatever it is, and live their lives in peace without people demanding they prove something every other day. Sir Keir also urged the public to stop speculating about Kate's health, telling them to leave her alone.